Hey everybody, welcome to the high road and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be on a South Texas freezer filler hunt and what makes it different is we're not hunting with any outfitter. We're actually hunting on a property that's listed for sale in Texas. So stick around, see one of the most beautiful ranches in the state of Texas and hopefully watch me fill my freezer up. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit different hunting show than you're used to seeing us do. And what I mean by that is we're killing two birds with one stone, because a lot of people don't know that I've also got my real estate license. So I wanted to show y'all one of the coolest ranches I've ever seen that's actually listed for sale here in Texas, and show you a hunt where I'm filling my freezer. It is no secret that I love being outside. I was very blessed to grow up. We had a ranch I could come out to, help pour concrete, dig holes, go hunt, look for sheds, all of the good stuff that comes with having land. And y'all have seen our ranch a lot on the show. It's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, and we grew it up from nothing to what it is now, and we are so proud of it. Uh, the deer we had when we first got the place, I, I can't even believe they're the deer we had, because the deer now are gorgeous and big. And with that being said, we had a goal when we got the place. Ours was wildlife. We wanted to specialize in growing the biggest, prettiest white-tailed deer we could. And anytime you go buy a piece of property, you have a goal, and it's to have fun with it. Make the land your own, but whether it's for cows, for whitetail, or just to have fun and go escape the city, you've got a goal. And ours was awesome. It was incredible to grow up with that goal and to work so hard at something. And that's what the goal is with most people when they buy rural real estate here in Texas now. They wanna make the property as good as they can, leave it better than they found it, and bring more value to it. And that usually means with wildlife. So this ranch has the perfect habitat for wildlife. I mean, look at the white-tailed deer. They're gorgeous and they're huge. Matter of fact, these deer have actually been brought in. They have superior genetics than the deer that were actually native to this ranch. So it's improved the value of the property for sure. We just found a little treasure right here. Oh, there's two of them. Looky here. How cool is that? A pair. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever found a pair of sheds right next to each other. Look at character on him. So yeah, they do have some pretty good deer here too. Now this particular property that I'm showcasing is gorgeous. Like, it, uh, gorgeous is an understatement. It is the dream ranch for anyone in Texas. If I could buy it, I would, okay? Because you can have cows out there. It's perfect for grazing. You can cut hay and you can grow the biggest white-tailed deer you can imagine. It's got a high fence pasture and a low fence pasture. I know some people don't like high fences, but what's nice about this is you can cater to those people. You have the high fence where you can have the gorgeous, giant, beautiful deer, and then you've got the low fence where you can have the beautiful South Texas typical frames. There's a gorgeous house at the top of the ranch where it's perfect for your family. Hey everybody, welcome to the main lodge here at Apache Creek Ranch. There's several places to stay here, but uh, this is just kind of over the top nice. And then as you enter the property, there's a lot more accommodations. There's different hunter's cabins, plenty of room for bunks for different hunters. You've got a foreman's house, so you can have a ranch manager living out there. You've got quarters for stables, for donkeys, for pigs. I like pigs, I've got my own little pig. It is the perfect place to start a hunting operation. It's got a constant level two and a half acre lake, a one and a half acre pond, and then nine other ponds all around the property. In addition to all those lakes, it has miles of frontage on both sides of the Hondo Creek. And of course, the nature of the South Texas beast, there's gonna be some feral hogs on the property, but with all of this water, you can expect a ton of turkeys. One of the coolest things about land is it's an investment. Yeah, it's a financial investment, but more importantly, it's an investment in your family. You're buying a piece of property to leave a legacy together, to make memories together, to go feed cows and let the kids play in the dirt and dig holes while you go work and trim trees and get firewood. You 
value that land like none other. And that's something that I don't think other people feel. And that's why I love working with landowners and the people I represent and the people I look for land for all feel that same thing. It's more than the money. It's about the memories. It's about the joy of the land, almost like the joy of the hunt. And speaking of hunt, this hunt is taking place late in the season. And the reason I'm on it is because I need to fill my freezer. I realized I'm running low on venison and I gotta fill it up. So here we are, it's late season. We're seeing a lot of action, but I wanna find a mature doe. Okay, it is late January. We are on a freezer filler hunt. And what I mean by that is pigs come in, deer come in, work though. So. The rig I've got is one y'all have seen a lot. We've killed hundreds of pigs with it, white tail, even my red stack this past year. Um, it's got a suppressor on top from our friends at Silencer Shop. It's the Nemo AR-10 chambered in 308. I'm shooting a Nosler bullet. I like these because they mushroom out and I think it's perfect for big game. And then I've got the Sightmark Pinnacle on top here to show y'all. It's really good for long ranges. I'm not shooting very far my first time in this blind, so I didn't know how far I was gonna be, and this is a scope I'm confident in no matter the distance, so we're gonna sit tight. So we're sitting in the blind, and I hear something right behind us, and I looked at the camera guy, and I said, what is that? It's, it didn't sound like a deer. All of a sudden, we had, I'm not kidding, 50 Rio Grande turkeys come in, and they were eating everything. I said, we're never gonna see a deer, but I couldn't complain. How could you complain with that many turkeys in front of you? That ought to give you an idea of just how much water is on this property. So the turkeys start to scatter off and I get excited thinking some deer are gonna come in. And we had a lot of little nubbin bucks and a lot of immature does, which yes, I'm filling my freezer and I don't really care about what the buck looks like or doe looks like, but I wanna have a mature one. So I have to get patient and remind myself we're here for a mature doe. So we're sitting there and I'm having fun, just being able to disconnect and hunt. There's nothing like hunting when you've been stuck in your office for a couple of weeks. So just disconnecting, watching these same little nubbin bucks running around. I saw a beautiful southern, just native buck walk by. It was a nice eight point, real pretty. And then all of a sudden, the perfect mature doe walked in. I know I made a good shot. I heard the bullet hit. I watched her run. She ran about 30 yards and I saw her fall right behind a tree. So I gave her a couple of minutes, wanted to make sure she was down before I got out of the stand. I just got a good late season mature doe. She's down, she's behind the brush over there. Clean shot. We're gonna sit tight because we still probably got an hour left of light and hopefully some pigs will come in or another doe and we'll get some more meat. All of a sudden I saw something and I said, what is that? It was a coon, it was the biggest coon I'd ever seen. Then the owners told me, if you see any, please take them out. So this became a coon hunt real quick. Is that a coon? Do you see it? There's a coon out there. Get the camera on it. Get the camera on it. Here it goes. All right, so we sat tight until dark after I shot my doe. We were hoping that another mature doe would come in or some pigs, cause we're on a meat hunt, but that didn't happen. We saw a bunch of young deer, which was still fun. We're gonna go recover her right now, and then I'm gonna have a full freezer. So I've just had a great time shooting this episode for y'all. It's a lot of fun for me to bring my real estate life into the hunting show life and kind of combine them. There's a lot out there that people don't know as far as real estate and this ranch alone has a great abundance of wildlife from deer to turkey to pigs to coons. They've got it all. So if you like this video, make sure and let us know. Comment below, subscribe to our channel. And if you're not watching online, head to our website, highroadhunting.com, where you can watch videos 24-7. So the facilities here are really nice um, if you're looking for just a 
top-notch place to hunt for your family or if you want to have a commercial hunting operation. There's several walk-in coolers, this barn, this shop. You've got a nice sink right there, which is perfect for when you're cleaning animals. An ice maker, which is great when you're sending hunters home with meat. Right next door, you can fit your whole tractor in and all of your rigs, Polaris's, mules, whatever you have. So it just makes things a lot easier. If you're interested in this property, go ahead and give me a call or shoot me an email. Look us up online, Texas Ranch Sales LLC, and you can see all the pictures we've got. And if this property is out of your budget or it's just not what you're looking for, still give me a call or shoot me an email. Whether you can afford 10 or 10,000 acres, I wanna help you. So shoot me a message and let's start the conversation and find you your dream ranch.